And developing tonight, the first possible case of monkeypox. It is here, found in Maryland now. The state health department says this person, an adult in the national capital region, currently recovering in isolation, but not hospitalized. Still, a big deal. WJZ live at 7 o'clock. Andy Rose Ramos with what a local doctor is saying about this. Andy Rose. Rick, there are now more than 80 confirmed cases of monkeypox in this country. And while it is important to note that no one has died in this latest outbreak for a virus that has mostly been found in Africa, it has now been confirmed and reported in more than 30 countries, including this one. Maryland could have its first case of monkeypox. The state's health department identifying the virus in a North Capital Region resident who is isolating but isn't hospitalized and awaiting confirmatory test results from the CDC. This is time to be vigilant, not concerned. This isn't a, a very prevalent disease. With over 80 cases in the U.S., monkeypox begins with flu-like symptoms and leads to lesions on the skin. They're raised, raised bumps on the skin that um, eventually pop and then crust over. Earlier this week, the CDC released new guidance about how to identify monkeypox because this outbreak is different. Traditionally, um, monkeypox uh, starts with flu-like symptoms. What we're seeing with this particular uh, virus is that it's not starting that way. It's actually starting with pustules um, that form around the mouth or anus or nose. And while he doesn't think this virus will be as prevalent as COVID, local doctor S.D. Shabelman says it's still concerning. What makes this particular one concerning is that investigators aren't really able to trace um, who gave it to whom. We're not really able to say how someone got it or who gave it to them. Now, the World Health Organization will be holding a special session to determine whether or not to declare monkeypox as an international public health emergency. Rick and Denise, that is their highest warning level. Reporting live, I'm Amy Rose Ramos for WJZ.